Hey YouTubers, thank you for checking in to Crazy for Lures today. It's been ages since I've done um, any reviews, made any videos for you guys. So it's been about two months, uh, it feels like a long time and I'm glad to get back to it. So it feels pretty good to get back um, into doing a review for you. Um, and you know, this particular review is on my absolute favorite rod um, that I own. Um, that I've actually ever used so um, you know I remember when I first purchased this rod I got it for an absolutely fantastic price um, a friend of mine down at a fishing store actually recommended this rod to me I was actually um, going in to buy uh, a I, I think it was either a St. Croix uh, rod or it was either one of Daiwa's interline rods where the, the line itself uh, travels through the middle of the blank and um, yeah, you know, he didn't have those particular ones there um, And he said, you know what you just got to try out this particular rod because it's 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 by far one of the better ones uh, after fishing with it for the last uh, about say two years um, I can honestly say that this is by far the most sensitive rod I've ever uh, used um, it's one of the strongest rods I've ever used as well and it's also incredibly light. I think they're three of the characteristics that you'd be looking for uh, when you do make a purchase and you know decide whether or not to open up your wallet and um, go, go with that particular rod. You know it's always scary when you, you walk into a fishing store and you want to invest into a fishing rod that you know costs a, uh, costs a bit. Now is it really worthwhile to spend that extra bit of money to to be able to get that um, performance and and action and feel from from the rod because you know obviously when you're out there you're spending that much time on the water you want to be enjoying uh, what you're doing and, and and enjoying you know pulling in those fish or even just working lures um, it, while you're out there so um, yeah, it was a scary thing, but um, at the end of it, I'm, I'm real pleased that I, I did make uh, the decision and said yes to him. He gave me a fantastic price, and I, I, I do not regret it at all. So, first of all, let's start off by um, letting you know that it has won uh, ICAST 2010 uh, 10 award for um, the best of show uh, for the uh, best uh, freshwater rod uh, category. Okay, now, the most important thing about a fishing rod is by far not even close uh, the construction of the blank and 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 what they put into that blank so not only the materials uh, the resin that they use the graphite slash carbon that they use um, it's also got to do with the process and the curing and 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 how they cook that product in the oven how uh, the whole process to give you the end, end, end result which is is the blank itself so guys were in, in, in terms of the blank, if, if for anyone who doesn't know, pretty much the blank is, is the section, the tubular section of the fishing rod without any other components on it. So I'm talking about this section here, okay? The, the stick itself, okay? This tubular section that slowly gets thin without the guides, okay? So that's just the blank here without any of these things here on it and without uh, the real seat, the handle there. And without, yeah, these, these sections here, the cork that you see there pretty much. Now, it's one of those uh, components of the rod that unfortunately, if a company did want to uh, skimp on, on the quality of it, you know, aesthetically, you cannot tell. You know, just by looking at it, you can't tell whatsoever how strong um, the rod is, how sensitive it is, um, also, you know, how, how well it feels, you know, the, uh, when, when, you, when you use it and fish it as well, okay? But after extensive use with it, like I said, I've owned it for about, about two years, and um, I use it actually very, very often, and uh, it's my absolute go-to spinning rod, okay? This particular model here is, uh, it, it's, it's the baby in, in the range of, of, of the NRX spinning series. Um, it's called the, uh, it, it's a six foot, eight uh, medium okay the model is called 802s uh, jwr um, which is the 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 jig and worm um, edition all right so when you're using jigs and, and worms it's very much it's, it's obviously a lot more fin finesse than say crank uh, baiting uh, jerk baiting 
uh, and also things like, you know, it's definitely more finesse than, say, for example, a classification of an umbrella uh, rig uh, rod um, as well. So it is the baby, it is the lightest version. Um, when I say light, I don't just mean physically light. I'm talking about how much strain and weight it can take um, and its line rating as well. So let's go into the, the technical side of it and let's ha have a chat about um, the numbers, all right? So the taper itself, it's an extra fast taper. What taper means is if I go, if I zoom out for you here and we look all the way at the front at the tip of the uh, rod, Extra fast means that as uh, the rod itself is under a load or a fish is on it, taper or action means how far up the tip the rod wants to bend the most. So if you've got a very fast action, what that means is that it's incredibly uh, springy and, and, and pliable and, and bendy at the tip. All right, guys, if you've got a slow action or a moderate action, it uh, ultimately means that about in the middle of the, uh, of the rod, so from this section to the tip, about in the middle of it is where it wants to do its bending as opposed to wanting to bend more so at the tip. All right? So extra fast is pretty much, uh, pretty much means uh, very, very bendy at, at, at the tip, okay? That's where the blank itself wants to primarily will, will bend. All right, its line weight rating is six to 10 pounds, meaning that um, you know these rod companies give you a rating where if you were to put on a, a, a certain line, um, you know how much weight it can actually take. So it, they recommend about uh, six to 10 pounds worth of, of, of line, okay? Something's gonna give, guys, so it's either going to be the line breaks, uh, your hook gets straightened out, uh, you know, your knots fall out if you haven't tied them properly, or the worst case situation is that your rod snaps. Okay, so if, if by chance you put on heavier line, what's gonna happen is that the line is stronger than what the rod can take as it bends, and the, the, the rod itself is gonna snap. Now, I actually use around about 30 pound line on this. Now, the style of fishing that I, 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 I do, I have to put on a very, very thick line, okay? Um, but it's just a testament to the fact that this particular rod can handle weight and, and, and the pressure of a really heavy fish at the end and uh, of the end of the line as well. It's never uh, failed me, and it's it's a, it's got a really really strong backbone as well. So this bottom tip here of the blank, it's incredibly strong. Okay, so you get a very fast tip, very bendy tip. Um, so it's very sensitive down that end, and then you get an in incredibly strong uh, mid to rear to mid section here as well. Okay, so giving you that power to uh, and the leverage to be able to, to really pull in uh, that particular fish that you're trying to fight with. All right, so the lure uh, weight, so the recommended lure weight is uh, one eighth of an ounce to a quarter of an ounce. Guys, I've thrown you know weights around about that, and I, I certainly throw heavier weights than that as well. You can, it, the rod can take it. Um, in terms of the guide system itself. Okay, the guide system is, um, there's eight guides and then plus one tip, so nine in total. Uh, this particular color is considered the blue. They have a green color where the whole blank itself, okay, is completely this sort of, uh, uh, it's a green color. Uh, this color blue, it's a natural uh, color of the blank with these uh, blue bits here, with those blue accents. All right, all the way for each guide. All right, next step would be, the handle length itself is 14 inches, okay? 14 inches long for, for this particular model. All right, so going back to the blank. Now the blank, where it's really special and why I feel it's by far the best blank and the best fishing rod I've ever owned and used actually is, is the fact that uh, G Loomis, uh, the NRX series, is their premier uh, range of, of fishing rods. They've put in absolutely all of the technology and knowledge uh, that they, they have 
throughout the, the whole history of, of the company. And they've been able to work out what goes right and what goes wrong, and they've put in all the best things that they could into this particular rod. With this blank itself, it's incredibly, it, it features incredibly expensive and, and, and high modulus uh, graphite, okay? So high modulus carbon, okay? So very, uh, very strong carbon. Along with, most importantly, 3M matrix resin. So what the resin is, is in the blank, there's, uh, there's ultimately two major parts of, 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 of blank. It's the material side and then it's the glue side. So the resin is the glue that melts and sticks and bonds those fibers together, creating the uh, blank itself, okay? So they've actually, you know, 3M is a company that makes adhesives and, 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 and different um, uh, sort of uh, epoxies and, and resins and, and, and those sort of materials. So they've employed uh, 3M to come on board and supply them uh, the resin for this particular uh, uh, blank. Now, other companies do use this 3M matrix resin as well. It is a very expensive resin. Um, so yeah, but uh, G. Loomis have perfected it with this particular blank. In my view, it's by far the best blank on, on, on the market, actually. Okay, next step would be moving into, uh, we'll start from the bottom and then we'll go up, okay? So we've, oh, actually we'll start with the, okay, we'll start with the bottom. So at the bottom here, we've got the, the grip. So here's going to be your uh, reel seat here. And then along here is going to be your grip. So it's a split grip, meaning that the blank is exposed here. You then get a, at the bottom here where uh, you, uh, you, the butt of the, uh, of, of the grip would be, is a uh, composite uh, a cork here. And then moving on to a very uh, premium uh, cork that they use for the rest of the, um, rest of the handle there. Moving on to that composite again, split grip, composite, and then moving on to that uh, cork that I was speaking of before, okay? Now the real seed itself here is quite a, 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 a cool design. I really like it. I, I was a bit, at first when I saw it, I was like, eh, I don't know how well it's gonna work. Uh, the feet of your reel, so if your spin reel is here, the feet come up and then go into these sections here and then you just tighten it on like so. It's quite a flat, sort of design with a hump there. That pretty much hugs the feet of your reel. Um, I think, you know, a lot of like uh, reel seats now, they design them with a skeleton design, which means a gap here. And the only thing that's really transmitting the vibrations um, up the rod is really that section here, that like those bits of the reel seat on there, onto the reel feet, uh, feet, and then into your reel. So you're feeling it here. Okay, but with this section here, the real uh, feet is completely sat on that, um, completely uh, all the way, pretty much. So against that that cork there, giving you, I feel more more better sensitivity. So if I just unscrew that, that's what it would look like for you. All right, and then putting that back on. Lining that up there, and that's how you'd apply your uh, your reel. All right, very comfortable to hold um, as you're using using it there. So, all right, so you're going to get a uh, a hook tie there on that side. So as you're you're uh, holding the rod like this, it's going to be located on the left hand side. Moving on here, you're going to get those blue um, accents there. Where it's quite different with this particular rod, you know, most rod companies are going to put their uh, their logo and the information on top there. It's actually on, if you're holding it here, it's actually on the right hand side. Looking at it like so, you've got your G Loomis logo there. That's their new uh, sick fish logo. If I just zoom into this section here, hopefully that focuses for you. NRX uh, 802S uh, uh, Jig and Worm. Six foot eight, extra fast uh, action, medium power. All right, um, and those things that I've talked about uh, before, those ratings there with the line, uh, the line there, and the lure rating there. Uh, NRX written there. All right. Lastly, medium power. What that means is 
um, as you're pulling it, how much resistance the, the total uh, uh, blank has. So the rod itself, how much it wants to bend. Okay, so a, 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 a soft power or a light power, meaning that it will bend heaps easily. Uh, medium, obviously medium and heavy or extra heavy means as you're pulling it, it's gonna be harder for the rod to bend. Okay, the action, once again, extra fast has got to do with not how hard it is to bend the rod, but whereabouts in the blank the rod prim primarily wants to bend, which extra fast means, once again, guys, just recapping, it's gonna be at the tip that it wants to primarily bend. All right, so nearly done. I wanted to be obviously very uh, in depth with this review, guys. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna go through everything today. The guides itself, this is where it gets a bit special for this particular uh, rod. The guide system itself, okay, features uh, a hybrid system, meaning that they have uh, Fuji's titanium uh, SIC guides, so titanium frame around there, and that black ring inside is a silicon carbide uh, um, ceramic uh, bit there. Silicon carbide is pretty much the industry leading standard for, for, for about the last 10 years or so. It's pretty much what most premium rods uh, feature, uh, well their guide system features anyways. Uh, it's one of those materials that are incredibly hard. Um, you gotta be a bit careful if you do throw your rod uh, down on a hard uh, surface, you've got a chance of being able to crack that particular uh, ring inside there because it is such a hard material as well. Uh, and you, you'll generally find uh, that once you crack it, um, your line or braid is gonna be tearing against that and um, you'll be losing fish and that's one of the reasons why, okay? You can put in like a cotton buds uh, into there uh, run them around there and they should hook up in in any cracks there guys so that's it's a good way to be able to identify if you do have any sort of cracks within your uh, your guide system there all right so like I said hybrid guide system what that means is that the first is going to be titanium uh, uh, SIC silicon carbide second one's going to be the same thing titanium sick third one's going to be titanium sick and then the next five are going to be which I don't have on here, but I'll get into that in just a second. It's going to be, let's have a look here. Sorry, just give me a moment. It's going to feature uh, G. Loomis recoil guide. All right, guys, I'm not a fan of recoil guides. I've used them for a year and a half, and I ended up replacing them with titanium SIC guides. And I'll go into why. All right, so I absolutely love the rod, and um, but I, over time, I actually got these replaced with, like I said, titanium uh, silicon carbide. Now, what recoil guides are, they are, um, the, brand, the brand of it is REC Recoil Black Ion Coated uh, Nickel Titanium Guides. So recoil meaning that it's like a little uh, string of, of uh, of, of that material that I just mentioned and it folds like that creating a little hole like a guide system there Okay Now these recoil guides if you were to bend it and then flip it and let it go it would pop back into its original position, okay? Bend it enough guys over time They're gonna snap. Okay. Now the reason why they use one two three four and five recoil guides, okay? The last one is sil um, titanium uh, uh, SIC uh, tip, all right, guys? So, yeah, it's only five recoil guides. But the reason why they use that, guys, is it's incredibly light. But anything that bends, okay, is susceptible to less vibration transmitting through this particular blank. That's my viewpoint on it. If it's able to bend, there's less chance of it being obviously incredibly hard and being able to transfer any vibrations uh, from the line up into the blank, okay, from the, 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 the line to the guide up into the blank, down all the way to your hands that you're feeling with. 
Okay, but uh, the reason why I um, changed them over is because I, one, they're incredibly noisy, and two, I broke one of them. After I went like that and then let go, it just went snap. So then I changed one of them, and then after a while, I think I broke another one. And I'm really, really careful with all my products, guys. And it's one of those things that I was quite disappointed in. I really wanted to give these um, these uh, titanium um, um, recoil, uh, sorry, um, uh, yeah, titanium uh, nickel titanium recoil guides a, a go, but unfortunately, I fished them for a year and a half, and I ended up having to change them all to. Um, to this system here. So on my particular rod, I've, I've, I've customized it and I turned them all to uh, titanium uh, SIC guides. All right, so just to um, end the review, I know it's been a long review and I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around to, to, to hear it all. But um, if you guys are wondering whether or not to make, you know, plunge in and then and go ahead with buying, excuse me, buying one of these rods, do it. Because um, like I said, I've fished a lot of fishing rods, um, some really premium ones, okay? A lot of them really premium ones, but nothing as close as this. This is, to end the review, the best uh, fishing rod I have ever, ever even had, had the privilege of using, all right, guys? All right, so I'll leave you to it. If you have any uh, comments, please uh, let me uh, know below. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to the channel as well. I know it's been a really long review, but I did it for you know in a situation where you really needed to get in depth with this uh, particular rod and have a closer look at, at all its components as well, guys. I'll catch you around next time. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. I'll be doing a whole heap uh, in the next uh, month or so. All right, so um, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Happy fishing, guys. See you. Bye.